Seventeen, wild and free and Brown hair flowing in the wind Speeding down that two-lane street I was like, I'm not gonna like, like him I refused to like him for the longest time But I couldn't help it when I finally got your name Yeah, he's definitely because he's just like, he's so charming and sweet to everyone. A Friday night after the game He knows how to like, calm me down. But even if I'm not expressing it or telling anyone, he like, can feel my energy. He always can be calm in certain situations, oh, every situation. He like always knows everything's gonna work out and that like, God has a plan. And he has so much faith in that where I'm like, yeah, I know God has a plan, but like what if, <laughs> but what if this happens? Like what if I don't agree with the plan? <laughs> he just always has faith. And it's like such a great attribute that I wish I could continue to carry on. I've gotten better for sure, but I could use a lot more of what he has. <laughs> He doesn't let like his temperament get in the way of it or anything. He's always so understanding with everyone. He's always very patient and kind towards others. He's a good man. So beautiful. <laughs> when I'm with you, there's no reason for okay. so I come over here again. <laughs> cool. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, welcome. There's a reason as to why all of you have been invited here today to witness this sacred union between Cheyenne Brooks and Angels Raga. It's because today marks the day that they make their union official. Each and every one of you have been a special part of their lives, and the couple want you guys to bear witness to their union and that you guys take the beautiful memories of this day home with you. Marriage is not just putting on a beautiful dress or a nice suit or celebrating with friends and family. That's the meaning of a wedding. Marriage is about the continued learning of not just living together as two separate lives, but living your lives as one complete life. Cheyenne, I knew I wanted to make you my girlfriend after our first date to the talent show when I carried you everywhere because you twisted your ankle. That day I knew I wanted to take care of you whenever I could possible. Never did I imagine 
<laughs> that I would have the honor of seeing you in this beautiful dress today. After football in Wisconsin did not work out for me, it, I was lost and bitter. <laughs> for very much in my youth, I loved the game of football. And for me, it was hard to face the fact <sighs> that it wouldn't be an option anymore. I still went to college after, but really, never really tried or cared. I just did it because I had to. Can't read what I wrote. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> However, watching your drive, passion, and dedication inspired me to pursue something I loved. You gave everything you had into nursing school. There was a lot of crying, anger, and doubt, but you always pushed forward. I was so proud of you getting into the most competitive nursing college in Phoenix. Witnessing your greatness motivated me more than you could ever imagine. I didn't want to settle for a career and get it over with. I wanted to find what you found. And because of you, I did. I started, keep teach I started the teacher's college this semester and I'm the happiest I've ever been. All right. Sorry, <laughs> this is the last page, I promise. <laughs> There's a lot to write. <laughs> ah, I promise I will never lose patience for you. Till my death, I will, give you, I will give you my best effort to keep this relationship strong. I promise I will never hold back my love for you. I don't care if we're arguing or you, are, you and I are cranky, I will always give you a bunch of face kisses before I leave for work. The little things you do to make my day a little better and the kindness in your heart is so genuine that I can't think, can't help but think about how much I love the man you have become. <laughs> when I was a little girl, I remember always feeling lonely at my schools and I never felt like I had any true friends or anyone I connected with and I used to envy what other girls shared with other, other little girls. I started to pray when I was really young <laughs> um, that God would create and maybe one day give me a partner in life, that would make all the struggle worth it. <laughs> and little did I know that he made you, and not only was good God so good that he made you, that he put you in my life at a young age of 14. Uh, we have had some pretty amazing adventures from surviving high school to figuring out this whole adulting thing and everything in between. I promise to always prioritize us and to never be blinded by the devotion or my devotion to work and the opinions of others. I promise to always be team angel <laughs> and to trust in you because I know you are truly a great man. I just want to lift up Cheyenne and Angel to you, Lord. I'm so happy finally God of this day finally came true. Your wedding ring is a circle, a symbol of love never ending. It is the seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. By placing this ring on, on his finger, you do this as a sign of your love, and you have chosen him above all else. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zaraga. Since 17, you and me are meant to be And I can't say I understand I just want to hold your hand I don't believe that diamond rings guarantee us anything The promise is always true If I can't be there with you And I will stay Till my breath goes away I will stay Till my breath goes away I'll stay We didn't have to fight to find this love We now call yours and mine For this love is beautiful Baby
breath goes away I will stay till my breath goes away